right, so we're going to go over constructing a perpendicular bisector. Just to refresh ourselves on the steps, step one, center your compass so that it is on an end point. Open your compass so that it's over half the length of the segment. Step two, draw an arc that goes above and below the segment. And then for step three, you're going to repeat steps one and two, but you're going to do it on the other end point. Then the last step, you're going to connect the two intersection points of the arcs. That's going to be our perpendicular bisector. So let's take a look here. I have a segment. I have my compass. First thing I'm going to do, step one, open my compass so that it's over half. But you don't want to go too far. You don't want to be too close to the half. So I'm about three quarters of the way on the segment. Um, we're going to have we're going to then draw an arc that goes above and below. Now we're at step three. I'm going to recenter on the other end point. And then I'm going to repeat the process from step one and two. So I'm going to draw an arc that goes above and below. Note, I didn't change the opening on my compass. You've got to keep it the same. Now, we're at step four. We're going to connect the two intersection points. I'm going to make mine just a little longer. And I'm going to mark mine as a line. All right. So here's our perpendicular bisector. I'm going to mark the angle. Should be a 90 degree angle. And it splits the segment into two equal halves. I'm going to clean up my drawing a little bit and get my arcs uh, out of the way. And perpendicular bisector gets us not only the perpendicular bisector, but it also gets us the midpoint of the segment. So this is a quick reminder. Remember that this point here is the midpoint of the segment. Thank you.